What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Hips Too Smooth. Um, today, we're going to be looking at the um, route tree and on um, why this is important to know in press coverage. Um, one thing coaches always say is, the more you read your playbook, um, the faster you're going to play. Um, yeah, and, and that's very true. Um, and I can attest to this because I was a player, you know. Um you know my current condition, I got one leg now, but um back when I was playing, um this is very important to know. Um very important to know um if you learn it in press, you learn it in off. It's kind of like the same thing, but I w- I want to do it for my my corners that play press right now because when you play a lot of press, if you know the you know, the game like it said, bro, it's only nine routes on the route tree. And that nine ball is the fade. And you know that. But guess what? Guess what? I'm going to tell you. Guess what? Based on his release, that eliminates a lot of stuff he can do. Now, you get what I'm saying? You can't think too much. You can't think too much. Now, he takes the inside release. So, look. If he takes this inside release, um, he could do a slant. He could do a post. A dig a curl, or a stop sign. If you memorize that, like, you just look at that for, like, maybe a month. Now you you playing faster. So now you look at your playbook for a month every day. You look at this route tree, and you tell yourself, if he does an inside release, he can only do a slant, stop sign, dig, post, curl, or an out. Doesn't that eliminate, like, he can inside release and do a fade. Most guys don't do that unless they fast. Because then if you get jammed all the way down the line, the coach going to yell at you as a receiver. So guys that are quick and fast only do that. But if you can learn that and then spacing on the field, learning the spacing and down and distance, takes away a lot of that so now let's go third and five third and five he takes the inside release what you thinking i'm thinking slant curl dig last it's a high it's a it's a low percentage he gonna run that post low percentage because now they only need to get five yards to get to the sticks so you know short stuff is coming and the slant going to hit immediately. So if he do this slant, it hits immediately. And then if he don't do the slant, you know, all right, there's only like two more routes he's going to run. Maybe three if he run the out. But an out is a low percentage throw for quarterbacks. You have to be a good quarterback to throw good out routes. They're far. Like if you measure how far out routes are from quarterbacks, nine times out of ten, they're, they're longer than any throw. Them be like 30, 40 yard throws for quarterbacks. So anything inside is like what they like. They like hitting inside routes all day because it's closer. You when you measure the distance from a curl versus an out, yo, the quarterback probably only throws the ball 20 something feet. 20, 30 something feet. When you do an out route, you'll be like, dang, he threw like 70, like a lot of feet. And when he throws that nine. Even though everybody likes the nine ball, it's a very low percentage throw. DBs notice. And then the best is when he takes outside releases. Because you know, all right, fade, come back. If you release out straight, he might run a hitch. So like in off, this jump is like beautiful. Like if you memorize this jump and then you get good with down and distance too. Woo. Boy, I'm telling you, you're going to be a monster. You're going to be a monster. And then if he just both shoulders turn down that line of scrimmage, you know he's driving. That's a that's a drag route. So learn the route tree, guys. Just take a little bit of time to look at it. You take this little bit of time, bro, I promise you, it pays dividends. If you really want to go pro, you got you to gotta do this. If you really want to. But if you don't, you want to bullshit and then think you're still going to go pro, hey, Hey, there's somebody out there that wants it more than you. You know? It's killer kill. It's killer be killed.
It's a shark eat men of world. That's why they don't like saying that in school no more. All right. Peace out. Hope y'all good.